good morning, afternoon, evening, good night, you know, wherever you are. Um, welcome back to another gas walkthrough. Uh, today we're looking at April 13th, 2024's Heavy Difference by Clover. Clover is one of our setters here at Gas HQ. So am I. My name is Bill Murphy. Philip Newman is around. Tell him I said hi and that he owes me five bucks. Um, yeah, uh, we create genuinely approachable variants Sudoku. You can find the link for this puzzle uh, down in the description below, along with some hat times. Uh, two hats is for a very, very quick time. One hat is for a quick time. And everyone gets a dino because we love you all equally. Um, yeah, that's about it. I'm really getting the hang of doing this uh, quick one minute intro. Uh, but let's get into today's puzzle. Uh, some people have had great difficulties with this puzzle, and I'm going to be real honest with you all. Uh, so did I. Um, my solve time uh, initially was probably longer than yours uh, for this one, but I will explain why in a second. So today's puzzle is heavy difference. So normal Sudoku rules apply. So each box, row, and column. Uh, have to have the digits one to nine once each and uh we've had consecutive puzzles on the channel before so that's that one in particular um where these two digits have to be consecutive so like two and three as an example um but uh yeah, there's a little thing here. So this is where this rule set gets a little bit tricky and where I kind of screwed it uh, when I was testing this puzzle. So the heavier digit must always go on the bottom. So this is, so if as an example, this was two and three, then this would have to be four, five and six, right? Now, every di dot is given for the whole grid where the digits have to be consecutive with one uh, uh with the lighter one the less heavy one on top um i read what clover said in our testing channel for this uh when we were testing puzzles and i did not internalize it even remotely um and you know what? That's on me. Um, all right. So with that, uh, so as an example of what that means, um, I'm looking for, so because we have a seven here, this digit, uh, this cell b directly beneath it could not contain an eight because there would need to be a digit. We have in this puzzle what is called a negative constraint. Um, so all the dots are given. That is going to be really important. If you want to give this puzzle a go, uh, it's down underneath. But other than that, uh, let's get into it. So these digits in the middle are where we're going to start. So um, they have to form a sequence of five digits in a row. Now, we can't put a one or a nine on there. So normally we could pencil this like we would pencil mark a thermometer puzzle. So two, three, four, three, four, five, four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight. And yes, we can take the six out, but we can take the six out for another reason. So remember what I just said about the negative constraint. Uh, because this is one, this cell cannot contain a two. So we can take the two, we can take the three, we can take the four, take the five, take the six out. Now, this cell, because there is nine here, this cell can't be eight, which means we actually know seven, six, five, four, three, how this needs to go, which is pretty, pretty dang useful. All right, now uh, let's go up here. So uh, this, can't, this is another run of five digits. It cannot contain a nine. So it can only contain the digits one to eight, but it can't end in an eight because that would put a eight directly above a nine. So let's pencil mark this and see what we get. Five, six, seven, six. Cool. So uh, the five, four, three takes it out of here. Five, four, three, two, one, which is pretty useful. All right. Now this one cannot have, uh, this is a run of four, I mean, 
one eight is pretty useful because we can't put a one or an eight here. Oh, that's right, cool. Well, because we can't put a one or an eight on this uh, particular sequence, it means that we need to put a one and an eight in this box. So these digits need to be between three to seven because that is all we can, uh, three to nine, sorry. Um, but as you will see in a second, even that's not gonna do it because two, we can't put a three directly beneath that. So this needs to be as high as six, four, five, six, five, six, seven, six, seven, eight, seven, eight, nine. Now I can't put an eight on this uh, at all because eight needs to go there in box seven. So I take eight, seven, six, five, and as you can see, six, seven, eight, nine, meaning this must be four, five, six, seven. Cool. Let's go over here. This is probably pretty useful too. Now, uh, the highest this can start with must be a four because it can't have a one on it because I would need to put a two directly but not lower it. And it can't have a three because that puts a two directly above it. So uh, pencil marking that, we get four, five, five, six, six, seven, seven, eight, eight, nine. As you can see, the fives cancel. Uh, the five over here sees this cell, which means we know that this needs to be four, five, six, seven, eight, which means this has to be one, three, and nine. Now, uh, this is gonna be pretty good. This can't, this can't have a one here. Can't have a three on it either. Yeah, so it can't have a one or a three. It can't have an eight on it. So this is forced. This has to be seven, six, five, and four. Uh, oh, we can take an eight out of there. Um, and the eight over here tells us which way around all of this goes uh, because we need to place a two and an eight in column five. So eight goes there, two goes there. Um, this is two, seven, and eight. Seven and eight goes here, and we know which way around those go because of two, seven, and eight, only two of those are consecutive. Now we can do three, four, five, six, seven, and this becomes one, two, and eight. One goes down here. Uh, we have three, four, nine to place. Uh, we know which way goes, that goes because three and four are consecutive, so three, four, and nine, and we take three out of there. Now, we have done all of the we all of the consecutive dots, but we need to keep in mind the uh, negative constraint. So let's let's just do some Sudoku. We'll do the constraint if it comes up. Five in box uh, two goes there, uh, leaving one six and nine's place in here. Can't quite do that just yet. Uh, two four ah oh, six in box two can't go in there. If we put six there, it would be below a five. So six needs to go here. Um, three, four, five to place down here. Uh, this is four and five up here. So that we put a three there. Uh, these have to be four and five. Ba -bum. Uh, oh, eight there in box six because we've got an eight there. This is now one, three, and six. Uh, well, that's a six. Uh, this is one and two, but we know which way those have to go around because uh, there's no white dot there, so one can't go on top. So that's two and one. This is four, five, and nine. Five, four, and nine. Uh, I'm gonna pretend that we don't have the conflict checker on for a second. Um, this could never be four because that would put the five directly above it. Um, and then, yeah, it's fine. Five, four, five, nine, eight, and two. Uh, one and four to place in here. Uh, three and eight to go in here. Uh, two, four, and nine to go in here. It's not super helpful. Um, three in here. Uh, which helps us with this. Uh, we have one, five, and eight to place. We can just do that. That's one, five, and eight. Two, six, and seven. Uh, we have two, seven, and six, seven, which tells us that this must go like that. Uh, nine, 
Oh, I've just missed that naked single three for a while. Uh, oh, two tells us which way around this goes because we can't put a one there. So that must be a uh, nine and one. Uh, this is nine, eight, one. Eight and nine to go here. Nine this way tells us which way this goes. One and three to go around here. Well, if we do the three and the eight here, uh, that tells us which way around this goes. And that's four, that's one. That's two, that's four. Two and seven. Um, nine minutes, 10, but I wanted to make sure that I talked this one through properly. Um, I hope wherever you are, you have a lovely day. This has been Heavy Difference by Clover. Uh, I'm still Bill, last time I checked, and I will catch you next time. Cheers.